Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. In good news for millions of Jagannath devotees and especially the locals of Puri, the much-awaited Sri Mandir Parikrama project will be dedicated to people January 17, announced Puri King Gajapati Dibya Singh Deb Friday. The king reviewed the progress of the Parikrama project today. The ground review was also attended by SJTA Chief Ranjan Kumar Das and the district collector Samarth Verma. A businessman in Odisha's Bolangir district allegedly faked his own kidnap to evade lenders to whom he owes around Rs 80 lakh. The matter came to the fore after the accused Sunil Agarwal was arrested by the Badgar police from Raipur in Chhattisgarh Friday. As per reports, Agarwal from Badgar had procured rice from many rice mill owners on credit. However, he failed to pay up the millers after losing Rs 80 lakh in betting. An Odia playback singer has been arrested for allegedly keeping a physical relationship with a woman on the false promise of marriage. Bhubaneswar police arrested Debesh Pati in connection with a case registered on directions of a local court a few months back. The Supreme Court Friday asked suspended Aam Aadmi Party MP Raghav Chadda to meet Rajya Sabha Chairperson Jagdeep Dhankar and tender an unconditional apology for his alleged misconduct in the House. Chadda was suspended in August this year on charges of not taking the consent of five Rajya Sabha MPs before including their name in a select committee. Delhi's air quality plummeted to the severe plus category Friday, a stage at which all emergency measures including a ban on polluting trucks, commercial four-wheelers and all types of constructions are mandated to be initiated and enforced in the national capital region. The Delhi government has also announced the closure of all primary schools for two days to safeguard young children from health-threatening pollution. The Supreme Court Friday deferred hearing a PIL filed by a Lucknow-based lawyer challenging the restoration of Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's Lok Sabha membership. The matter is adjourned in terms of the letter circulated, said a bench of Justices B.R. Gawai and Prashant Kumar Mishra given the letter circulated by the petitioner Ashok Pandey seeking adjournment. The Noida police has booked Big Boss winner Elvish Yadav and arrested five people for the alleged use of snake venom at rave parties, officials said Friday. Nine snakes, including cobras, were also rescued from the possession of those arrested, who had landed at a banquet hall in Sector 51 Thursday for a party, which was a trap laid by animal rights group People for Animals, officials said. Yadav refuted the charges and expressed his willingness to cooperate with the police in the investigation. India and Italy signed the Mobility and Migration Partnership Agreement to enable seamless movement of workers, students and professionals after External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar held a comprehensive and productive meeting with his counterpart Antonio Tajani. Jai Shankar is in Rome on the last leg of his four-day visit to Portugal and Italy. Accompanied by the newly confirmed U.S. Ambassador to Israel, Jack Lew, Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Tel Aviv Friday making his third visit to the Jewish nation since Hamas launched its war October 7. During the visit, Blinken, who travelled twice to Israel last month in wake of the unprecedented attack, will meet Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and other senior government officials. Afghanistan dismissed the Netherlands for a paltry 179 in their World Cup match Friday. Opting to bat, Saibra and Engelbrecht made a 86-ball 58 to emerge as the top scorer, while Max O'Dowd and Colin Ackerman also chipped in with useful runs, but the Dutch suffered a collapse to end with a low total. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.